on Strike It Lucky tonight, a jackpot of £3,000. Sample real elegance, your own chauffeur-driven limousine for a day. Feel like putting on the Ritz with a delightful 24-piece dinner service. Or soak up the sun with a carefree week in the Gambia. All these prizes waiting to be won tonight on Strike It Lucky. Now, ladies and gentlemen, your host, Michael Barrymore. <laughs> Nice to see you. Jill, Hello. welcome to the show, Thank and you. Jim. Nice. Now, where are you from? Uh, we're from Cheshire, but originally I'm from Sheffield and Jim's from Bradford. Yes. <laughs> so, we've been halfway around the country now. <laughs> <laughs> you nice and relaxed? Right. Are you married? Yes. Seven weeks. Seven weeks. Ah. Oh. Seven weeks. How's it going? All right. Great. <laughs> <laughs> well, she said all right, and he said great. So obviously you're getting more out of this relationship than you. I could say so, yeah. I could say so. Well, I don't know. I'm asking you, Jim. What do you think? I'd agree with that. Did he propose to you, Jill? In a fashion, yes. In a fashion? Yes. Well, what, what, what way? The only thing he didn't tell me was that he was going to wait until all the football was over and halfway through Stars on Sunday before he decided to do it. <laughs> halfway through Stars on Sunday? Yeah. Well, that's a London. very sad note to end this interview. <laughs> well, that's what we like to create, a bit of mass depression on this show, so there we are. Welcome, Jim and... Sorry, Jill and Thank Jim. You. <laughs> Hi, Ray. How are you doing? Nice to meet you. And Rod. Hi, Mike. How are you doing? Where are you from? Spalding in Lincolnshire. Spalding in Lincolnshire. And you're married? Oh, Oops. somebody else there from Spalding? <laughs> I thought that was a studio next door. They're doing uh, This Is Your Life next door. <laughs> they are. They're doing it next door. And I know who it is. <laughs> hey, I'll tell you in a minute. Well, I've got to wait till they arrive and then I'll give it away before Michael gets it. <laughs> <laughs> now, what, what do you do, Elaine? I work for Social Services Department. Social Services? Nice job. So do I. And so do you. Yes. And what do you do uh, what, in the social services, Rod? Right? Um, I'm a prevention and diversion officer. A prevention and diversion officer? Yes. <laughs> what are you laughing at that for? <laughs> that is a very good job. Now, what is it? <laughs> I, um, I stop children going to prison. Stop children going to prison? Well, that's uh, not a bad job. Yeah. Try to stop kids coming into care. Uh, so, uh, you're not married? Did I ask you that? Uh, no, no, we're not married. No, you're not. No. So, are you, are you going to get married? <laughs> Um, is it me? <laughs> but somebody told me what your surname was, and I just wondered if she knows that. If she doesn't, <laughs> she should do. I'm not trying to make a big deal about it, but, you know, their children or whatever may have to go through life, and, you know, if you want to change it, change it now, because these have just got married. What's your surname? Fearon. Fearon. That's right. Yeah, it's all right. Rod? Growcock. Growcock? <laughs> now, you know how you system? Good for your benefit, Rod. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry. Okay. <laughs> you happy now? <laughs> Got it out of your system? Keep going, keep going. All right, Rod. Yeah, fine. That's all finished, so don't worry, Elaine. <laughs> it's all gone, OK? Uh, You'll be Mrs. Groper. <laughs> Welcome, home. Nice to see you, Rod. Have a lovely evening with us. Nice to meet you, Elaine. People are standing at the back there. Nice to meet you, Jackie. Nice to meet you, How are you? Oh, you did a little curtsy. Yeah. yeah. I'm not royalty, but that's very nice. Thank you. Hello, Fred. Hello, Michael. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. Yeah, good, yeah, lovely. Good, so, good. what's the relationship? My dad. Your dad. dad. Uh, now, let's talk about you. Now, uh, Jackie, what do you do for a living? I'm a secretary. A secretary? Yes. Yes. I work for the firm of Charter Building Surveyors. Charter Ke Builders. Kennedy and Partners. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do, Fred? Nothing. I'm a retired now. <laughs> You're retired, are yes, you? What do you used to do, Fred? I used to be in the uh, retail business. Retail business, yeah. Yes. What do you sell? Flameproof curtains to hospitals. Flameproof curtains? That's handy in hospital, yeah. 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 <laughs> My job was to go around testing them. Eh? I used to go around testing and see they were flameproof. You did, did you? Yeah. One day I went to one lot and set light to them. <laughs> <laughs> well, they went up. Yeah, went up in flames. Well, they're not flameproof then, no, are they? Well, that's what I found you out. You them to them. That's what I know. That's what I found out. That was my job. 
Very nice. Any hobbies? It's all you two. Uh, well, I belong to a nature's <laughs> resort. <laughs> nature's resort, I belong to. Oh, well, you're a nature's resort? Yes, I am. Yeah. Ooh. Sure. Ooh. Yes. What about you, Jackie? Mm. Oh, I go along sometimes. Oh, okay. What, were you sometimes. dead? Yeah. Of course. Yeah, oh, dead. well, that's quite natural. I mean, it's not something I've done. Haven't you? No, you I wouldn't to, risk you it. You want to no, try no, it? No. Eh? You want to try it sometimes? No, I don't. <laughs> well, I don't know. So you're just like. Yes. We have all sorts Strip of things off. going on. We have sports days down there. Sports days? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're recording this on a Monday. Everybody's yeah. a bit lethargic. So. Um, I did a very silly thing one day on Sports Day. I haven't asked you anything yet. <laughs> I haven't said a word to you yet. <laughs> Let's give a nice round of applause. Let's find out a bit later. Nice to meet you, Fred, Jackie. Well, oh, give a nice round of applause. Let's get on with the show. Here we go. All right, now, the idea of the game is to get from one side to the other. You tossed the coin earlier on to decide who's going first, so if your partners would like to go to their places, we can start. Let's give them a nice round of applause. Listen, Harrison. First category for you, Jim. Two, three, or four? Two, please. Two, for your first move. A fruit between a grapefruit and a tangerine. Parsec. Is wrong, I'm afraid, Jim. Straight away to you. Rod a fruit between a grapefruit and a tangerine. Ugly. Ugly's right. For the second move, a sort of goose. Gannet. Gannet's right. Two moves for yours. We're off. OK, here we go. <laughs> right. All right, Elaine. OK, now the first screen we give you absolutely free. Now, I think everybody knows what we do here. We've got to avoid those hot spots. What is the hot spot? Not... No! No! Elaine, come in a little... Just come up the step. That's it. Strike the screen. £100. Now, what do you want to do? Do you want to bank that or risk something on the next screen? £100. What are you going to do? You carry on. OK, over you come, Elaine. Strike the screen. There you go. A food processor and £100. That's your one and a half. We go on to the next category, which is cities. For you, Jackie, cities. Two, three, or four? Two, please. Two, for your first move. The 1992 home of the Olympic Games. Madrid. Is wrong, I'm afraid. So, Jim, a chance for you now. The 1992 home for the Olympic Games. Barcelona. Barcelona's right. And the second move, in which city is Beverly Hills? Uh, Los Angeles. Los Angeles, two moves are yours. All right. <laughs> right, Jill. There we are, first screen free for you. You've only been married a few weeks, eh? Hey? No, my legs are steady. I'm Your legs are steady. <laughs> oh, all right. Well, it, that won't last, but there we go. <laughs> <laughs> a visit to a Wookiee Hole. <laughs> a visit to Wookiee Hole. No comment. Eh? Hey? No comment. Uh, do you want to, well, do you want to bank it? <laughs> where is it? Eh? Hey? What is it? Wookiee Hole. Yeah, where is it? Well, it's any hole you want. You just go, oh, Wookiee. <laughs> 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 well, Matt, you can make it where you like. <laughs> Move on. Is that about where it is? Do you want it or not? No, we'll go Oh, on. you're going on. <laughs> yes. There we go. Strap the screen. £250! Oh. There we are. <laughs> OK. We go on to the next category, which is works <coughs> of art. All right, Jim. Wookie hole, eh? <laughs> you look forward to it, huh? <laughs> I know you do. Right. Works of art for you, Rod. Two, three, or four? Uh, two, please. Two, for your first move. This is a famous armless statue. Uh, Venus de Milo. And which of these is a famous painting? Mona Lisa. Two of yours. <laughs> well, <all right. laughs> all right. It's all right, love. You've gone there. She's staring at the space. <laughs> you OK up there? You know, what were you looking at? Where Wookie Hole is. <laughs> Somerset. Thank you. Oh, fancy not knowing that. Try <laughs> <laughs> the screen. Thermal underwear. <laughs> hey. What is it? Thermal <laughs> underwear. I can't hear you. Thermal <laughs> underwear. No. <laughs> you move on. <laughs> All right. That's a lot of money, thermal underwear, you know. <laughs> They've lost it all. <laughs> all right, peoples of the world is the category. We come to you, Jackie. Peoples of the world, two, three, or four? Two, please. Two, for your first move. Here we go. With which country do you associate the following people? Maoris. Uh, 
New Zealand. And for your second move, Incas. Peru. Peru, you're off. Two moves are yours. There we go. All right. All right, Fred. Right. Hey. Right, mate. Yes. Yeah. Fine. Yes. Yeah. yeah, good. Which hand do you want me to press it with? Um, <laughs> knowing what you do for a hobby, any hand you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go on, Fred. What have you got? A reclining armchair. It's a nice prize. Sure. Right, you're going on. All right, then strike the screen, Fred. Oh. Reclined so much, you've lost it. Right, okay. <laughs> Show songs for you, Jim. Show songs. Show songs. Show songs. Two, three, or four. Two, please. Two for your first move. From which show did Climb Every Mountain come? Forty Second Street. Forty Second Street is wrong, I'm afraid, Jim. Rod Sharp for you. From which show did Climb Every Mountain come? Sound of Music. And for your second move, Surrey with the fringe on top. Forty <laughs> Second Street. <laughs> no, sorry, Rod. <laughs> what are you laughing at? <laughs> don't know the show. You don't know the show. Surrey with the fringe on top. Oklahoma. You know it. There's two yeah. moves you're on. <laughs> But it's taken out and on 42nd Street with the sorry with the fringe on top. <laughs> hey, I've gone mad. I went years ago. Don't worry about it, Fred. Oh, the tablets are going. Hurry up, Fred. There we go. A weekend in Brussels. A weekend in Brussels. Got a banquet or is something on the next one? Move on. It's up to you. Entirely up to you. You take the chance. Just come round here, Fred, so we can see it. Do it with that hand. That's the best one. There we go. That's lovely. Two hundred pounds and a weekend in Brussels. Well done. All right. We go on to the next category, which is for you now, Jim. What applies to whom is the category? Two, three, or four? Uh, two, please. Right. King. Kong. Beam me up. Scotty. Right. Two moves are yours. Yeah. Okay. All right, Jill. OK, then, strike the screen. A train set. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, it'll take you down to Wookiee Hole. <laughs> it's, it's in Somerset, by the way. Oh, yeah. yeah. I knew that. Yeah? Yes, go on. Yeah, whenever you like, Jim. Oh, you wanted that train set, didn't you, Jim? Not really. No, you really like train sets? Oh, there's a lot of people home would have liked that train set, but, you know, it's gone. Got to go to Wookiee Hole instead. <laughs> who's who? For you, Rod, who's who? Uh, two again, please. Two. A.A. A. Milne's famous poo character. Uh, Winnie. And this is, this is Cassidy's nickname. A uh, Butch. That's right, two moves are yours. OK. <laughs> Sorry, went a little bit too far there. Strike that screen, will you, please? £150. <laughs> £150. £150. Pounds. Carried on. Oh. All right, OK. A black... <laughs> what? <laughs> black sheep sweaters. <laughs> you got any room for a couple of black sheep? <laughs> they come in sweaters. They've got... They'll be all right for the winter. Oh, I'll find out what that means for you. <clears throat> You probably have to pick them up from Wookie Hole. <laughs> <laughs> right, so we go on to the next category, which is birds. For you, Jackie, birds. Two, three, or four? Two. Two, please. for your first move. This New Zealand bird has featured on tins of polish. Kiwi. And for your second move, this one sticks its head in the sand to avoid trouble. Ostrich. Ostrich, right? Two moves are yours. <laughs> OK. Nah, I thought I could do it. I remember you used to jump over there. Yeah. You wouldn't do it at a naturist camp, would you? <laughs> no, you wouldn't. <laughs> you have a high voice if you did. Yes, you will have a... I haven't touched it yet. Hey? I haven't touched it yet. I couldn't tell us what you've done. <laughs> <laughs> well, it doesn't matter. It wouldn't have changed it, would it? <laughs> you know, his hot spot is hot spot. <laughs> when you touch that one, it'll be something else. <laughs> Well, I hope so, yeah. yeah. You can't touch it now, cos you've got hot spot. Oh, okay. There you go. <laughs> right, next category, we come to you now, Jim, which is... What's what? Two, please. Two. 
Uh, which type of vehicle is a Vitesse? A Vitesse. Car. And for your second move, what was the Flying Scotsman? Train. Two moves for yours. All right, there we go. <laughs> a tour of London. <laughs> How are you going on? Move on. All right, OK. I've been to Wookie Hill. We can't come been to Wookie Hill, yes. <laughs> Still got to go to Wookie <laughs> Hole, haven't you? <laughs> All right, we go on with the next category, which is what's what for you, Rod. What's what? Two questions. Two monitors up there. I have to ask you a minimum of two questions. What is Moby Dick? <laughs> <laughs> we can make this show without an audience, you know. <laughs> Won't get much reaction, but it's a whale, man. Hey? It's a whale. Don't be silly. <laughs> and for your second question, who, who is Big Daddy? A wrestler. A wrestler. Two good, two yours. All right. <laughs> All right, Elaine, strike the screen. <laughs> Don't believe it. OK, we come back to you now again, Jackie, and the next category is colours. Two, three or four? Sorry, you got three. Two or three? Uh, two, please. Two. All right, a slang term for a communist. Red. And Ireland is often associated with this colour. Emerald. Emerald is right. Two of yours. OK. <laughs> yeah, press it with that one. Press it with that one there. See? That's it. Then it'll work. A chauffeur-driven limousine. <laughs> You'll take his clothes off. Yeah, will <laughs> <laughs> I'll have a bash at this Have a bash at this one, all right. Uh, dinner service and the chauffeur-driven limousine. That's yours. <laughs> All right. <laughs> two for you, Jim. All right? Minimum Please. of two. Famous men is the category. And your first question. This was a famous poet. A famous poet. John Milton. And for your second move, a famous film producer. David Putnam. That's right. The two of yours. <laughs> OK. Here we go. <laughs> All right, Jill. Strike the screen. A manicure and pedicure. <laughs> For Jim, <laughs> yes, if you want. What do you want to do? The bank or is having on the next screen? On. Move on. Moving on, OK. All right, now, here we go. A week oh, in Innsbruck. Yeah. That's a nice prize. <laughs> All right. <laughs> a lot of travelling on these hands, isn't it? Right. Lane's a couple of monitors away from there, and Jill and Jim, you're here on the main Strike It Lucky question. Now, you can bank the, the week in Innsbruck and that uh, uh, manicure and pedicure or answer the main Strike It Lucky question. I must remind you, if you get it wrong, you lose those prizes. If you get it right, you keep them and go on to the jackpot. What are you going to do? Go you go for it. I'll read you this question. Yeah. Oh, please. <laughs> Good luck. I'm going to read you both the question. Uh, you can... Talk to each other as loud as you like and confer. I'll ask you the question again. I must have an answer. OK, for a chance in tonight's final. The Mona Lisa is arguably the most famous painting in the world. Who struck it lucky by painting it? Da Vinci. Da Vinci. Is that your answer? Yeah. You're going on to tonight's final. Ooh. Let's see what that's all. Jill, down you come. Be late. Would you like to come back? There we are. Well done, Fred. There we are, ladies. Would you like to go back to your partners? Well done, Elaine. Well done, Fred. There you go. All right, well done, everybody. Let's tell you what you're taking away with you tonight. Well, Fred and Jackie, you've won for yourself tonight a limousine, a day out with a limousine and a chauffeur, a dinner service, a weekend in Brussels and £200. You enjoy being with us? Oh, no, no, no. Enjoy your prizes. You're going to ask round of applause. Right, well done, Elaine. And uh, Ron and Elaine, you've got a food, food processor, the, bra the black sheep sweaters. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> and £250 for you as well. And Jim and Jill, you've already won a visit to a wiki hole, a manicure and a pedicure, a holiday in Innsbruck, £250 you won earlier on. Each and every one of you will receive one of these as a memento of your game, so you can take that away and play the game at home. You're going on to tonight's final. Let's give them all a nice round of applause. Well done, Jill. Will that come with me now? Jim, you come with your wife. Jill and Jim, this is how we play the end game. You play the game as you did before, but this time you play the game horizontally and vertically. I'll ask you which move you want to make. You shout out top, middle or bottom. If you look at the screens there now, you can see we've got ten arrows, ten questions and ten hotspots. If a question comes up, it'll be true or false. 
Give me an incorrect answer, it becomes a hot spot. For a correct answer, you gain another move. If you go for our top money tonight of £3,000, you cannot hit any more than two hot spots. For £2,000, no more than three. And for 1000 no more than four. If you fail to get right the way across and you go for our top money, we'll give you £300 for every successful move you make. 200 for 2000 and 100 for 1000 The prizes you won already are safe, whatever happens. Before you make your mind up, the computer will now jumble them all up. <laughs> They're gone. What do you want to do? Your prizes are safe. 1,000, 2,000 or 3,000 pounds. What do you think they should do? <laughs> <laughs> They're going for the 3,000 pounds. Let's go and get them in front of them. You'll have to come over here. Just stand there in front of me. Follow me about the same distance all the way across, OK? All right, then. The very best of luck. Jill and Jim, you just got married. But I'd like you to win every penny we've got here, all right? Not for me personally, because I haven't got a pay. <laughs> <laughs> they have. <laughs> top, middle or bottom for £300? Top, middle or bottom? Oh, top. Top. The top one, the top one for £300? <laughs> oh. Lousy start. <laughs> Never mind, OK? We'll allow you one more, don't worry. OK, for your first £300, top, middle or bottom, where are we going? Top. 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 The top one again, you're going along the same line? Yes! Yeah. Yeah. £300, we're on the way. Just stay there. All right, now, this is for £600, top, middle or bottom? Yeah. Bottom. 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 The bottom one for 600. Yes, well done. Here we go. Okay, Jill and Jim, this is for 900 pounds. Top, middle, or bottom for 900. Middle. Top, middle, or bottom. Middle. The middle. Hey. Middle. Hey, make middle. your mind up. Middle. 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 You both agreed. Yeah. Yeah, middle. middle one. The middle one for 900. Oh. <laughs> I mean yes. <laughs> it's a question. Okay. A goldfish belongs to the carp family. True or false? A goldfish belongs to the carp family. True or false? False. Is that your answer? What do you say? No, it's too good. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't allow you that. It's true, I'm afraid. That becomes a hot spot. That, it's all right. You've still got a chance. You've still got £600. You can't have any more hot spots, and you could make it all the way across. Right, top, middle, or bottom for £900? <laughs> Top, yeah, top. The top one, we can't have any hot spots. Oh, it's another question. Now get this right. <laughs> right, the papal Swiss guards are the Pope's personal military guards. True or false? True. True's True. right, 900 pounds. Here we go. <laughs> All right, Jill and Jim, just stay there. This is for 1,000... You're all right, Jill, don't worry. <laughs> just so you relaxed. 1,200 pounds, the top, the middle or the bottom. No hot spots, we can't allow. <laughs> 1,200. Bottom. 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 The bottom one for £1,200, please. Oh, Bye, luck. Let's give him a nice round of applause. Jim, Jill, come down here. Well done. Just stand there. Let's have a look at the screens. Let's see what it all work. There you go. Mm, easy like that, isn't it? Put three in a row there. Never mind. All right, let's tell you what you're taking away with you tonight. You've got the manicure and the pedicure, uh, a visit to Wookie Hole. Nice. <laughs> there we are. Uh, the holiday in Innsbruck, the money you won earlier, plus the money you got there, £1,150. So you enjoyed yourself? Very much That's so. That's a nice start to your marriage. That's a nice start to <laughs> so the next week, we hope. We'll see you then. Good night, God bless. All right, good night. Thank you. Two, three or four moves. Make your move to the sofa for Strike It Lucky, next and new on Challenge. And also new for us is the Cube. Philippe Schofield brings us one you won't have seen here before. That's today at five.